So as all good full drive trips start, it's raining, but I'm down at Berry. Uh, just stopped in on the way down to Bateman. Cars all packed, ready to go for the weekend. Got my pie. And yeah, keen for a good weekend. Hopefully the weather clears up, which I think it should. And we're gonna be doing a little bit of touring, but I thought I'd take the camera along and hopefully get some good footage. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. I'm keen. So we got our map up. So where are we going exactly? We're here. We're gonna head down the highway, find Sheep's Track, it should be along here somewhere. Head into Shallow Crossing, all that around there. Head down, all the way down the highway on a little sugar loaf. Have a look at the fire tower, and let's camp for the first night. Cool. And we've got uh, the mighty Pajero, Cooper's car. And then we've got my car as well, so should be should be a bit of fun. It's going to be a little bit hard to film and drive, but we're on the track. So hopefully we just keep going this way. I think we have to turn left in a bit and then we'll head up to Shallow Crossing, I think it's called. to some really steep bits now. You can see the mountain all the way in the distance, gaining some height, and I think the camp for tonight is gonna be really far up, which you'll hopefully have a good view. another state bit look at that view but so cool I'm getting really high up now so I've been told once we walk up here it's gonna be a pretty awesome view so get keen this is probably the 
best view I've ever seen in a little secret spot. You can see the water all the way out there. Really gives you a view of how big Australia really is. This is so steep. The camera probably doesn't show it, but we are going straight down. A couple cars in front of us, so we just waited at the top for a bit for them to go down. Well, you see Cooper behind me. got camp set up just behind there and we just came through this before a little bit of a river crossing I think there's quite a few river crossings through here um, there might be I think three or four we just crossed the first one and that's where we're gonna camp because it was starting to get a bit dark but we're all set up now and this is the little creek crossing that we've got going on through here It's not deep enough to fish in. I did bring the fishing rod, but it is still really nice. And the water, of course, like all these places, is like crystal clear. So, very cold, but it would be nice to have a bit of a freshen up in the morning. We've got our little fire going as well. So, that'll probably be us for tonight. And yeah, start the filming tomorrow morning so we get a full Saturday in. Camp's all packed up, just letting the cars warm up and I believe we're going to be heading that way and trying to find some caves I think so should be interesting. I think it's going to be a bit of a, a hot one today but that's good as long as it's not raining so I might be able to get in a swim and yeah we'll see how it goes. Alright straight out of camp first into this little river crossing. It's not deep at all but I thought I'd still get the camera out because it's pretty pretty. Again, I think we're just gonna start a climb to the top and then go down again, then go up again, then go down again. All right, so we're here at, I think, a bit of a grave. So what was this exactly? This is the son of one of the guys that raised and kind of brought this place to farmland. Had 15 kids. And that's the old homestead over there. The campsite and everything. Just over there. And uh, what happened was one of his kids broke his leg. And instead of bringing him out, because they couldn't, they just built a shelter around him. And there's his grave. That's some nice flowers. We're in the mountains yesterday, so you couldn't really see much, but now that we're in the valley, it opens up heaps. There seems to be lots of little different campsites around here. Heaps of flat spots. So, it is pretty cool. So we're at the cave entrance, and this is what we've got. Your shadow of your head's in the way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's what's in there apparently. So, how long's the walk? 
At two and a half hours. I'm gonna get fit. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Burn off last night's dinner. That's it. So it's safe to say we're all pretty knackered. We're nearly there, but look at that view. So I've climbed most of the way up this mountain. And apparently it's only a little bit more to the caves. Better be, Better be yeah. We finally found the cave. There's a the view. We're both uh, are pretty spent. <laughs> but it does look pretty sick in here. Holy shit. Yeah, wow. Well. The echo, hey? There's bats. There's bats, yeah. Bats down there. So cool. Yeah, wow. Well. Look how big it is. Let's keep going. Yeah, there's rattles on the steps. Holy. I can hardly see much down there. Going down a bit of a ladder there, are you? Still filming? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. It's good content. That's it. Cool. I thought this was going to be a waste. Yeah, same, eh? I don't think the camera shows how like big of a scale this place is. <laughs> like, he keeps going in so high up. At our little ladder up there. Oh, wow. Cool. Oh. Holy, look at that. That just flew past my head. Straight down. How far does that go down? You can't can you even see the bottom? Kind of. Like, look at this. I've never seen anything like that in person before. This is the best content we've ever got, man. Looks like jellyfish with tentacles or something. That looks awesome. Yeah, that's sick. I don't know how well the camera would have picked up being inside, but I've never seen anything like it before. It goes really far down. We thought it was going to be a lot smaller than this, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Something very different that I've never, never been through before. We're all pretty spent, so I think we're just going to spend the next like two hours <laughs> walking back. This was set as like a medium trail around this bullshit. It's pretty hard, <laughs> to be honest. We're all, I don't think we're too unfit, but it definitely puffed me out. So it was well worth it in the end, but very, very cool experience. This track is no joke, but straight up. Definitely harder than a medium track. So we're traveling back up now. We just come back from the caves, which you might be able to see on the maps. Uh, that was a bit of a trek of a walk, but now we're making our way back up what we came down yesterday uh, to go to a bit of a swimming spot. It is super steep. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but we're really climbing up. We're about a thousand meters up is what Cooper said, which is pretty cool So we're gonna go back down now and up again as per usual, but the view is pretty sick It's covered a bit by trees It's gonna go up this big hill here Just Giving it to it
<laughs> Still going. I think you made it up. Alright. I go. Up, thousand meters up, something like that. Looks awesome. I don't know if we're coming down now or what, but this is good fun, something a bit different. We'll keep heading that way. So, this is where I think we start our descent. That's basically the peak where we are on the ridge line, and we're gonna keep heading that way. So, all downhill from here. Look at that! All the way up there. You keen? Fuck yeah. This hill's no joke. <laughs> Holy shit. I would say this is probably the steepest one. Straight up. No mucking about. Keeps going first. Go to the patch. Mate, he's still going. I think he's got it. Oh! <laughs> Just got over the tip. And then there's still a little bit more. This is going to be interesting, this one, because I have so much less power and such a bigger car. <laughs> Way more weight, but I reckon it will be sweet. Going up all right so far. So I've started the descent down and it is bloody steep. I can't see it with my bonnet. <laughs> Holy, look at that. So you can see the track off in the distance, hopefully, but it is really straight now. Because I guess, going all the way up, so you gotta go somewhere. But yeah, still a really nice view. This is no joke. <laughs> got to our camp spot just up over here but we're gonna go for a swim now because it's bloody hot but look how nice this spot is this water is crystal clear and because the sun's on it it's actually a little bit warm so super duper nice
Alright, uh, so day three, Sunday, just getting some cool photos in the river. So today I think we're just going to be heading back. There might be one more cave we're going to go look at and some type of big hole or something. I'm not really too sure what he's got in plan, but yeah, should be good. It's a really nice day again, which is awesome. And yeah, just enjoy the last day down here. The water is super clear as well. You can see it all the way to the bottom, which is awesome. Starting to open up a little bit here. We've crossed the river twice now, and we're just gonna keep heading up through the track. So we thought we might come across this a little bit of a branch down that we moved. We managed to go over that one. But then there's there's these ones up here. This one's not too bad. That next one is gonna be interesting because that's pretty thick. But we just have to move them out of the way so we can get through. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Yeah, that actually, that actually worked really well, surprisingly. I can't say I've done that before, so... Snapped it in the perfect place so that we don't have to move that top bit, we just have to push this out of the way. Yeah, Let's go! Look at that padge go, easy enough. So this is the view from the top. We're both letting our cars cool down a bit. My clutch is hating life at the moment. Um, it probably is due for a new one, but we'll get through this. But the view is pretty awesome. Big hill, <laughs> that's for sure. So what are you saying down there is the campground? It's the Wyoming Cave and the campground, and this is just Wyoming Caves from out. There you go. But we can't get there from this side, just you. But it's a good view. So this is probably a bit of a better view. Walked all the way to the edge. We're gonna try and head down there. You can't actually get there from this side, which is annoying, but still super nice. You might be able to see down there, that's the actual track that we came in here on, going like all along the ridge lines. That was why it was so much of up and down, but really nice view. We got to a really boggy section. I didn't see it, almost got stuck. I didn't see this section. It looked hard and then as soon as I went through it, it was like slop. And I had my windows open, we got covered. And I just went through it in first gear, <laughs> before high, and I got nearly got stuck and right foot out of it, but I got mud everywhere. No, no, no. Changing up the scenery a little bit again. It seems to be like really windy through here and then we end up heading off into some uh, farmland. Right, so we're finally out of where we were before. That took way longer than it needed to, but um, I am going to go on a little bit of a walk because I've still got a bit of time before I have to head home. We're going to the big hole, I know, amazing. Um, so that's the little spot up there. I don't think there's any photos on it. It should be about an hour and a half walk, I think there and back, 4Ks, which isn't too bad. But I just wanted to go check it out while I'm down here. The others um, are gonna head home. 
but that's all good. We had a really good time. And yeah, I'll keep going that way and hopefully you find a big hole somewhere. So I made it to the big hole. It took me about 40 minutes to get here. Came from down there. And this thing is no joke. Like, I'll flip the camera around in a second, but it's a big ass hole. And it goes really deep in. That's just the top of it. I think they said 35 meters across or something like that. And then once we look over the edge, all the way down to the bottom. That's crazy. It's just like in the middle of nowhere. I know I've probably said it a million times this trip, but these views are just gorgeous. Even walking back from the big hole, you kind of go up a little bit of a mountain, that's your view. How good's that? Okay, so just got back from the walk, and I think that is going to end our trip. Hopefully we got some good footage. Uh, I had lots of fun going around. That was kind of like my first time touring, I guess you could say. Had heaps of fun, did a bit of bushwalking, saw some really cool views, and hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it too. So until next time, cheers, thanks for watching.